Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games. I'm going to show you a cool uh, product that I found here. This is a herbicide, Torden RTU. I've been having this problem in my backyard, and this stuff fixed it. So if you've got a problem with invasive trees, I'm going to show you about this stuff. This is a great product, and I figured I would uh, pass the word. So let me show you the issue I've been running into. About two years ago, I started having all these little saplings, I'll call them, grow up all over the areas of the backyard that hadn't been mowed in a while. So anything, you know, under trees and stuff like that, it's, still getting, like it's just turning into a jungle, basically. And uh, I believe they're either sweet gum trees or elm trees. So what I did was, I went around and I cut them all down um, with a, uh, with a lawnmower actually, <laughs> which probably isn't the best way to do it, but I figured, Hey, let's do it. You can see those, uh, where I was working on that fence, you can see those fence posts and stuff laying up there that I bought. And all this was cleared out because I cut all this down. And, uh, then we had a bunch of stuff go on. So I stopped work messing with it for a while. And I came back out here and everything that I had cut down grew right back um, with a vengeance and it seemed to even spread more so if you look at all these little saplings down at the base of them you can see a little knot where I cut them off the first time and they grew right back from the same uh, sapling we ended up we had like thousands of them okay so how are you gonna get rid of them well I started looking into different products and stuff and uh, we had a couple up by the house that were uh, much bigger. These things grow super fast. They'll grow about 15 feet tall uh, in one year. So, I, I, like I said, I think it's a sweet gum or a or a uh, um, elm tree. But we, I had a couple up by the house that were growing pretty aggressively, and I kept chopping them down. They just grow right back. Chop it down, grow back. Let me show you those stumps. So a lot of times you get people talking about a product and it's something that they're trying or they just used last night or whatever, right? So the reason I'm making this is because I want to show you what happens after a little bit of time. So I've got these stumps right here beside the, on the side of the house. I've been fighting these things, I swear, for 10 years. You cut them, they grow back. You cut them, they grow back. You cut them, they grow back. So I tried to dig them up one time and there's roots all over the place. They have a tap root and then the, the roots spread out all over the place. So you could dig it out, but I mean, we're talking a pretty big job here, right? So put some of this stuff on it in January. It is now November. It, we're in the Carolinas. So we went through, you can see the leaves falling as we speak. Uh, so we went through the end of winter, all of spring, all of the summer. Now we've gone through pretty much all of fall and the things did not grow back. So you cut it off, you put the stuff on it while it's still wet, almost immediately. I'll show you here in a minute how I do it. And the stuff will not grow back. So this is after a year, it has not grown back. And then better than that, these stumps, they rot, you know, just sitting here dead. So eventually they get to the point where you can just break them out of the ground. Let's see if this one's ready yet. Yep. <laughs> so you can see what my issue was. Here's above ground. Look at that tap root. Amazing. I mean, I, th I think they're, like I said, sweet gum or elm. Let's see if our other one's ready yet. Yep. <laughs> well, most of it. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, that one was right beside the other one. These things, you're not even going to believe this. They grow like a vine with their roots, and then they will spring up again farther down the root. It's really an amazing tree. But completely dead. And it gets brittle after a while. So now I will never have to worry about at least those particular ones anymore. Okay. So let me go show you a few more that I've done a few months back. So this entire area was overgrown like a jungle. I'm going to show you a picture of what this looked like that I took. You're not even going to believe it. And this is in the backyard. 
You never should have let it get like this, but it's those things grow so fast. And uh, when they were little, I cut them all down, cleaned everything up, had it looking about like this. You can see my grass is completely gone. But we have these big canopy trees here that are, won't let grass grow very well. But uh, the uh, uh, I let I, I cut them whenever they were short. I let it go for a little while, and I came back, and they had all came back. It's pretty disheartening. I believe all of them originally came off of that tree there on the other side of the fence. Can you believe it? <sighs> so I might go over there and sneak over there and cut that one down too. Wait a minute. I just said that out loud where the neighbor can hear it. Someone may go over there and cut that one down too. So all of these I've done over the past, uh, most of these I did back in the spring. Um, the, some of these had grown like 15 feet tall. stumps haven't rotted enough yet where I can break them out. They were literally so big I couldn't use uh, uh, loppers or shears on them. I had to saw the damn things. But we're getting cleaned up. It's getting a lot better. So I'll show you how I'm going about it. You can see the knot in the bend right here where I had cut it before and the thing grew back. This one's a little big, but I'm cutting them down as low as I can because, again, I can't pull that out. I could go around with a shovel, but we're, there's thousands of them. <laughs> right? So we cut it down. You can see where it was cut before and it grew back. Right? So I've got it down flush with the ground or pretty close to it. And within three or four minutes of cutting it, it's still wet. You can actually feel that it's wet. Right, so it's it hasn't scabbed over basically. If I leave that, it will grow back. Right, so we're gonna put this stuff on it. Okay. Done, easy peasy. Now you can rig this up however you want. You can put a little sponge in the top. Uh, uh, you can make a applicator stick. I've seen people do that. I've just been pouring it right out of the bottle. Try not to get too much on it. What I like about it is it goes pretty much where you want it, so it doesn't, you're not spraying crap all over everything in your yard. I mean, I could go back and seed this after I get it all cleaned up. All right, so I've just been going around literally cutting down <laughs> every one of these things. I've been working on this for forever, for forever. Um, there's probably quicker ways to do it, and there may be better ways to do it. But this way has worked great for me. And it's kind of fun watching the whole yard come back um, by doing that. And if I happen to find one that's small enough that it pulls right out, I just pull it right out. Sometimes, too, you'll see where they're, like, growing sideways because they're growing off of a root. Like that. Look at that crap. Put a little bit of the juice on it. And it's completely gone. So this is a good product. So if you want any of this stuff, you can go buy it wherever you want. But I've got a link down below. If you use my link, it gives me a little tip. Because um, I sent you there. So if you do that, we appreciate it. If you uh, click my link to this, it it'll take you to Amazon. And then if you buy anything else while you're there, it doesn't have to be this. Since I sent you there, it gives me a tip for if you buy anything. So uh, do that if you want. I probably won't get rich off of it, but... Like I said, people a lot of times they'll post up about something. Oh, I just tried this last night. It works great. No, I'm showing you. I tried it a year ago and it still works great. This is the stuff. And there may be something better, 
but uh, this stuff is great for me. I don't know anything about the safety of it. Um, it says keep out of reach of children, so you know, follow all the instructions on the uh, label and everything. This stuff might be dangerous as crap, but for what I'm doing, it has worked very well for me. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you clean up some of your unwanted uh, uh, growth in your yard, and I will see you on the next video.